Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm reviewing dog food from the farmer's dog. Why is this dog food so good? Well, I haven't actually tasted it myself. I mean, I am dedicated to trying out all the products I review and it is human grade dog food. So in case you thought I might, you got your hopes up for nothing because I definitely didn't. But my dog Ralphie loves it. He can't get enough of it. And that made me wonder what's in it and what is it that he loves so much about it and has made him so much healthier since we made the switch around three months ago. So in this video, I'll be opening up a pack of dog food from the farmer's dog to see what's in it. I'll explore what they do differently and whether I think that this food is good for all dog breeds or just some. So I'll get into how much they cost, how it compares to other dog food brands and why I think Ralphie loves it so much. And hopefully that'll help you decide if the farmer's dog is right for your dog or not. And if you find this review helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already to see more of my honest reviews. And just to be upfront, I review brands that I appreciate for some reason, and I share what I know about them in the hopes that they'll help you choose what's right for you. Now, if you decide to try the farmer's dog, I do get a bit of a kickback if you use the affiliate link that's down in the description. This is completely free for you and you get a bit of a discount as well, which you wouldn't find by going directly to their website. So it's a win-win. All right, so the Farmer's Dog is a premium dog food delivery and subscription service that produces fresh, healthy dog food that's customized for each dog and delivered frozen to your door. Their meal plans are formulated by vets and they use human grade ingredients that are flash frozen and portioned out specifically for each pet's daily needs. They were founded in 2014 by two dog owners who wanted to actually make fresh food from the actual ingredients shown on the packaging of many dog food brands, which rarely contain anything close to what they show on their packaging. They were put off by the fact that so many of the commercial dog food brands might show chicken or fish on their packages, but they're really made with various fillers, preservatives, and artificial flavors. And even if they do contain meat, it's not really meat. It's mostly meat byproducts that are not nearly fit for human consumption. So the founders wanted to make natural, nutritious, and healthy food for dogs that actually looked like food. And to this day, they pride themselves on using human-grade ingredients with as little processing as possible based on a ton of scientific evidence that dogs benefit from a fresh food diet. And all their food was tested in a six year live feeding trial using real dog breeds of various sizes, ages, so you can be confident that it's actually good for your dog. So what's in this dog food that makes it so good? Well, they have four recipes that use different clean proteins, nutrient rich vegetables, and fiber filled whole foods, which they blend and balance with vitamins and minerals. All their ingredients are sourced from local farms and reputable food suppliers that meet human food standards, which means that you could actually eat it yourself, although I wouldn't. The details of their recipes are available when you subscribe, but I'll give you a bit of an idea of what you get. The beef recipe has beef, sweet potatoes, cooked lentils, carrots, and beef liver with added fish oil, which is a nice source of omega-3 fatty acids for better joint health. The main ingredients in the turkey recipe are turkey, chickpeas, carrots, broccoli, and spinach. And it's got a very good fat to protein ratio of about 56%. And to give you an idea, some of the ingredients listed in the chicken recipe are chicken, Brussels sprouts, chicken liver, broccoli, and chia seeds. They also have a pork recipe, which Ralphie didn't try, but all the recipes contain a special nutrient and mineral blend and salmon oil. Each recipe is slow cooked on a low heat to kill any bacteria, but not so much that the nutrients are destroyed. Then the food is flash frozen without any preservatives and shipped with portions marked out for how much your dog should eat every day. They never ever use feed grade ingredients. These are substandard food industry byproducts that are considered technically okay to feed animals. This includes things like meals, which are basically all those parts of animal carcasses we wouldn't nearly consider edible, grind it up into a sort of gross paste or something like that. But with the farmer's dog, there are no added preservatives and no cooking processes that destroy the whole foods that they use. And finally, there are no labeling tricks like dog food that contains only 3% beef and claims to be made with beef with pictures of a juicy beef steak on the package. Okay, so the farmer's dog works like this. You start with a quiz where you tell them all about where you live and all about your dog, including his name, his age, his breed, his weight, 
and what they've been eating, how active they are, if they're a bit chubby or skinny, all the things like that. Based on your answers, but especially their size, the Farmer's Dog recommends a personalized meal plan with specific recipes along with pricing specifically based on your dog. Then, like I said, all their meals are made fresh, quickly frozen, and pre-portioned according to their daily caloric needs and then delivered within a few days of cooking in the container that you can use to store open packs in the fridge. You store them in your freezer and thaw them out 12 hours in advance, so just keep in mind that you'll need a little bit of extra freezer space for your dog food. And it's as easy as that, so unless you change your order or cancel your subscription for some reason, the farmer's dog will keep sending you fresh deliveries before you run out. By the way, like I said before, if you decide that you want to try out the farmer's dog and you want to save a bit of money, then check out the affiliate link that I left down in the description to get that discount that I mentioned, which again, isn't available if you went straight to their website. So how much will you pay for this fresh, natural dog food? Like I alluded to earlier, it really depends on your specific dog. But for Ralphie, who's a one-year-old chihuahua and weighs about four pounds, his personalized food plan contained turkey, beef, and chicken recipes. The first box had enough portions to last him two weeks, and that came to around 36 bucks or about $2.50 a day. But after a 20% discount for all new customers, we paid $32 including tax. And something that's really cool about the farmer's dog is that shipping is always free. Now, Ralphie is smaller than most dogs, but average prices range from $2 to 12 bucks a day, depending on your dog. Of course, bigger dogs mean bigger appetite and caloric needs. So just to give you an idea, the per day cost for a three-year-old border terrier weighing 25 pounds is a bit more than five bucks a day. Food for a six-year-old lab, for example, who weighs 70 pounds will cost around eight bucks a day. But if you have a huge dog, for example, a Great Dane who weighs more than 90 pounds, their food will cost closer to around 15 bucks a day. And the more food your dog needs daily, the more frequently you'll get deliveries, so it really is customized according to your specific dog's needs. Another thing that makes them stand out compared to the competition is that all their packaging is thoroughly sustainable. The cardboard delivery boxes are fully recyclable. The insulation is biodegradable so it can be composted or dissolved with water and sent down the drain. And the food packs are completely BPA free and non-toxic and they can also be recycled after you rinse them out. So if you're worried about the environment, you're good to go. Okay, now in terms of the competition, after I found out that fresh and natural food is much better for your dogs, we tried a few brands. And in my opinion, there were two other that are worth mentioning here, which are Ali and We Feed Raw. First, if we compare Ali to the farmer's dog, then they both offer personalized plans that depend on your dog. But the farmer's dog is a bit more affordable, has a higher ratio of proteins, but uses less organ meat, which is good for your dogs. Ali does offer a dry kibble-like alternative if you want to save a bit by mixing it into a fresh food. And it has a lamb flavor with meat sourced from New Zealand. Both brands supplement their food with synthetic vitamins and minerals, but the farmer's dog has more vitamins, so it turned out to be a better choice for me. Not to mention, Ralphie seemed to get more excited for that one. Then there's We Feed Raw, and like their name suggests, their food isn't cooked at all. Instead, they use a cold pressure system to eliminate any microbes, and then their food is frozen for shipping. Their dog food is priced differently, with their food starting at around seven bucks a pound, but for a chihuahua like Ralphie, you're looking at paying around $124 for enough meals for six weeks, which is about $20 more than the farmer's dog for as many weeks. So in my opinion, the farmer's dog has better pricing and more personalized plans for individual dogs. But if you prefer completely raw food, as opposed to freshly cooked dog food, which some say is more natural for your dogs, then We Feed Raw might work better for you. So the most important opinion in this review is Ralphie's. And I can say, judging from how he dances around in a circle on his back legs when it's feeding time, that he loves his food. He liked all the recipes that we got, but turkey is definitely his favorite because he just gobbles it up faster than beef or chicken ones. We're into month three of using the farmer's dog, and I've noticed that he's more energetic, his coat's shinier, and his breath smells better. Also, I'm sorry to go there, but his poop is a lot easier to pick up because it's not as wet or slimy and definitely not as stinky as it used to be. On the downside, serving him as portions from the packets can get a bit messy until you figure out how to do it. 
and you need a lot of space in your freezer. Plus, you have to remember to thaw the food in advance. And if your dog doesn't eat it soon after serving, the fresh food spoils pretty quickly, especially when you compare it to the regular commercial dry kibble. So you have to defrost sparingly. But I don't have that problem with Ralphie because he eats up all his food and then proceeds to lick the bowl clean. I swear, if I didn't stop him, he would never stop eating. So do I think that the farmer's dog is worth it? Definitely yes, because my dog loves it and I can see the difference it's made to his digestion and overall health. Plus, it doesn't cost that much more than the high-end commercial dog food that we were using before, but it's made with care using healthy meat and vegetables that I could eat if I ever had to, which hopefully I won't, but it's good to know that it's good enough for humans to eat as well. The bottom line is the farmer's dog makes really good dog food, and it's what they put inside of it and how hard they work to make it good and healthy for your dog that makes all the difference. Okay, so that's it for this review. If you found this video helpful or interesting, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do decide that you wanna give the farmer's dog a try, I get a small kickback if you use the affiliate link that's down in the description. It doesn't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount, which again, you won't find directly on their website. So it really is a win-win. And as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts and I'll answer any questions you leave in the comments as fast as I can. And finally, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.